Hey everyone, ShaBear1000 here. Today we got more free stuff. There are some things inside that Dale Earnhardt bag that a friend of mine dropped off to me. He told me a few weeks ago that he had some stuff for me. He's always giving me something. In fact, he gave me one of the pressure washers that I worked on and the pump went bad on it. So he gave that to me. I'm gonna that'll be in an upcoming video when I get the stuff for it. But anyway, there's a couple items in this in this Dale Earnhardt bag. We're gonna check them out, see what he gave us. Okay guys, so like I said, got this Dale Earnhardt duffel bag here. It's it's used I mean you can see he gives this stuff to me in case I want to sell it um, or if I want to keep it a lot of the stuff he gives me I, I do keep um, I have sold a couple things but most of the stuff he gives me I do keep um, but he gets them people give things to him and he goes to state sales and he buys a bunch of stuff and a lot of times in the state sales you know if you want to buy one thing you got to buy you got to take like everything in this lot they call it like there could be 30 items in there but you got to take it all just to get your one one item even though you say you know look I'll just I'll give you that amount but I just want that one item you have to take it all and also he works for a guy that has rental rental properties all over the place I think some of this stuff can, comes out of rentals you know that people leave behind so let's see what we got here we got a bag within a bag okay so this bags pretty cool it's like a I don't know if that's real leather or if it's pleather but velcro and you open it up and that drops down just like that so that's pretty cool um i th let me see what this is here we'll uh we'll see the brand name um looks like oscar o-s-c-a-r oscar I can't read the bottom there, but maybe we can on the video. And the um, the top zipper has looks like their logo. And it also has that logo right there. Let's see what's in the bottom of this. Now I already know guys, but I wanted to share with you. We were having a yard sale the other day and he stopped by. So I've got some Teflon tape that you can never find when you need it. All you can find is black electrical tape, whatever, duct tape, but you can never find this. Now if you're looking for black tape, electrical duct tape, duct tape. All you find is this but that's okay okay we got that and two fishies they look familiar I don't know what they do but I don't know if they're part of a game or what but there's two fishies in there A roll of velcro still got the sticky stuff on it so this this part of this roll's never been used and we got a magnifying glass which will come in handy this will go in my toolbox um, it does have a light on it but the battery's probably dead they just take like a little button cell battery right there there's the number that it takes so that's you know that can help me out on carburetors and stuff like that so in this bag I think we're going to use for camping to put um, spices and things like that in it 
So we got that. I'm just going to put this in here for now. That way when I go to find it, I'll forget where I put it and I'll say, I know I saw it the other day. Alright. So that'll be a good camping bag. We can put stuff in. Like Monkey said, maybe spices or something. And here's something really cool. He come by one day when we was having a yard sale. When I was putting the uh, the the fuel, when I was doing the fuel injectors, when I had that clogged injector, and I had our thermal cell sitting up on the windshield, and he says, you know. I got some stuff for that thing. I said, you do? Because, you know, this gets expensive. He said, yeah, I'll bring it by to you. I said, cool, so this was in there. But he also told me, he says, you ever seen one that's in like a holster? I said, well, you know, on videos, I haven't seen one in person. But he says, I got one. Check this out. And this works. Now, in the side pockets here, you can put your extra stuff. This was in it, but that was turned on. So someone had left it on and ran out. Um, this one on this side is full. Yeah, you can see the stuff in it. And I just put a full one in it. And that is a new pad. Um, and you can take it out if you want. Just like that. I like the color of it. <coughs> Olive drab. The two things there. Here's your clip for to clip it on your backpack, belt, pocket, whatever, and it turns. So that's cool. So this will either go on my pack or in my pack. Now we have two. So Monkey can have one beside her and I can have one beside me. And that way I don't have to remember it every time we go somewhere. Uh, like if I take it with me on my solo, you know, I might for, forget my bag or something next time we go out together. Or uh, I know one time I needed it on a solo and I had forgotten it in our stuff. So this way, this one can stay in my pack and our other one can stay with our camping gear. And this is pretty cool. We have a charger here. If something goes with this charger. This we're gonna check out later tonight. Looks like it's been sitting in a garage. This is a Motorola. It's the LR097379. Now, it does come with the radios. Now, the antenna, the antennas are broke, but that's from people sticking them in their pockets and it gets broke off. When I worked in Troy, Ohio at Dell Tech Polymer, we was always breaking these off. Um, these are pretty cool. This one has the clip on it. Unfortunately, this one does not. Again, you know, just got to glue them antennas back in. But this one does not have a clip. But that's okay. Also has a weather weather band on them. So you can, we can hear the weather when we're when we're out somewhere has emergency button on it I think they're 22 channels are supposed to go up to 35 miles I don't believe that but later on when we try it we'll put a camera in the car with monkey and we'll have her head down towards the river which is about six miles away and we'll see how far she can go before they start giving out but that's okay I mean it's worth it just to have the uh, weather channel uh, weather station on there and you can change different stations to get to where your station is you know closer to you also has a light on it this one's not staying on I don't know if they do I can't 
can't remember now. No, but you just hold it. You got a nice little LED light. We'll check this out later. So that's pretty cool. And two other little things. Nice little Swiss Army knife there. I have several of these, but mine aren't. I didn't notice this earlier. Miller Plastering and Stucco Incorporated. And it has their phone number on it. That is cool. I did not notice that the other day. So I'm going to hang on to that. I don't know if this is made in China. The ones I've got are made in China. But they're still cool. I mean, I've, I've got one in my pack. I've got one in my, uh, uh, my box. Yeah, this is China made too. But I just think it's cool. I've got one in my tackle box. And in my backpack. And then this little guy. As you can see, there's my finger. <laughs> there's my pinky. It barely covers my pinky. Uh, that's a cute little knife. You can put it on a keychain or whatever. Um, I'll hold on to this. Okay, so this is uh, Ducks Unlimited. It says something there. Imperial Ireland Stainless? Is that what that says? yeah imperial ireland stainless right down there at the bottom and then we've got the ducks unlimited right there that's pretty cool now so i don't know where this is made um i'll look it up imperial i'll put it on the screen right now and the ducks unlimited and we'll see see if that's made here or if it's made somewhere else it's kind of sharp for these little things are usually not that sharp because they're not made for whittling wood or anything it's just made to carry in your pocket a pocket knife or on your keychain just get you got to open a piece of mail or something so yeah so that's pretty cool so that's our free stuff for today that's uh so that's pretty cool it's gonna be fun checking them I've already charged the uh, radios up, so that'll be pretty cool. And like I said, we'll put a, a camera in the car with Monkey, and we'll let her go down the road, and we'll talk until we start, until it starts breaking up. Who knows? It might get that far. I doubt it, because we're kind of like three-fourths, maybe two-thirds up the top of this is a hill. It's like a 10% grade here. It doesn't look like it on camera, I know, but if I went down there to end of the street and filmed up you could actually see it. it's a pretty steep hill but there's trees all over here all the way back there's nothing but trees and woods all the way to hike with Mike all the way to uh, to the river so that'll be fun and just wanted to share that with you guys thanks for watching I appreciate it Shea Bear the myth the man a legend I'm gone for now hope you guys had a great weekend and hope you have a better week to come. Stay safe everyone. Bye bye and take care.